Welcome to a special edition of Braxton Live in the Mid-State Chevrolet pregame show. We're here at the Armory as the Braxton County Eagles are about to play in the regional championship game against Frankfurt. Many people did not expect Braxton to make it this far as their record. You can just look at their record and be kind of confused on how they're here, but they're winning the important games when it matters, and they're here, and they're playing for a chance to punch a ticket to Charleston in the state tournament. I would like to take this time to thank our sponsors as our pregame show is going to be a little bit short, as a uh, five minutes short. So we're going to go ahead and thank our sponsors because without them, none of this is going to be possible. So these sponsors are Braxton Citizens News, Clear Mountain Bank, Dr. Chad Lancaster DDS, El Gallo Mexican Restaurant, Gasway Baptist Church, Glenville State University, Go Mart, H and H House Washing, Little Caesars, Lockards Incorporated, Mid State Chevrolet. Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center, Rich's Refrigeration, Roach Funeral Home, Ryan Chaver Photography, Sports Connection, Napa Auto Parts, The Boss 97, West Virginia Army National Guard, and WVU Medicine. So once again, thank you to all the sponsors because without them this isn't possible because we are a group of volunteers and we need the, we need the sponsorships. So if you can, check out those, those uh, businesses, help support them because they help support us. So we're going to cut to a short commercial here, and I'm going to try and get an interview with Braxton County's newly state champion, Blaine Jarvis, before we start talking about the matchup here tonight. And so if you can, please share that link out, let people know that we're live, and this is a very important matchup as it is to go to the state tournament. So uh, we'll be right back after the short set of commercials. At Glimble State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glenville State University, you can become a pioneer. Little Caesar's Stuffed Crazy Crust is stuffed with cheese and has a delicious buttery garlic flavored crust. And it's $9.49, making it the lowest price in stuffed crust. And I'm out of time. There was more time. Pizza, pizza. Yes. I wish I was Justin Jefferson. I wish I was eating Little Caesar's Pizza. How about another slice, Sport? Thanks, Dad. So tasty. JJ wants Little Caesar's Stuffed Crazy Crust for just $9.49. Pizza, pizza. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives. To facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done, which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. From farm all compact and utility tractors to balers and mowers, Case IH equipment gives you the efficiency and the versatility you need to get things done. To learn more, visit caseih.com slash livestock. Welcome back to the Mid-State Chevy pregame show in Braxton Live. I'm standing here next to Blaine Jarvis as he is Braxton County's newest state champion for the 157-pound uh, weight class for wrestling. Blaine, I'm just going to ask you a couple questions. I'll let you go. I, what was your... What was going through your head just the moment you're walking out on that mat, getting ready for that whistle to start the uh, state final? Uh, that my dreams were in reach. Your dreams were in reach. How, how long have you thought about it you know, since you were a kid? What was it like when you finally got your hand raised and you realized that your dreams are coming true? Uh, it was just an overwhelming feeling of emotions and, and joy and pride, glory, everything. All right. So... Uh, have you used, since you won the state title, have you used that as uh, bragging rights against your brother as he wasn't able to win it? Uh, no, I have not. Not yet. Are you planning on it? Uh, if I have to. All right, I just got one more question for you as our team's coming out here. So what words did you have for just upcoming people? I know you're graduating. 
do you plan on helping coach in the future or what just what words did you have for the youth getting ready to start wrestling or coming up to the high school uh believe in yourself and trust in the god and keep working hard in practice all right thank you state champ thank you. that was blaine jarvis our newest state champ the team ended up placing fourth overall at the state tournament connor facemeyer placed third paxton smith placed third and Elia Moore ended up placing six, so those three or four really helped contribute to Braxton County coming home with a fourth place finish in the double A and single A uh, tour tournament. We're going to take a short break and kind of get off the court here as the teams are coming out warming up, and maybe we're going to try and catch Coach Lunsford, maybe Frankfurt's coach, for a short interview, and uh, we're going to get ready uh, to tip off here at 6.55. So after this short break, we'll be right back. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com WV to find out more. If RPMs raise your BPMs, if the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. How easy is it to purchase your new camper at Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Our knowledgeable staff can show you over 150 new and pre-owned RVs on site. Our team will ensure that all stress is removed from the buying process as you become a part of the Mountaineer RV family. How easy is it to use your new camper for Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Pick a spot, unwind, and start making memories. Come check out your adventure headquarters, Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center. money for my new shoes, honey. There's an easier way. Mitsubishi Electric Systems cool and heat more efficiently with no duct work. See how at MitsubishiComfort.com. Welcome back to Braxton Live in the Mid-State Chevy pregame show. Now we are here at the Armory. We're getting ready to play in this matchup. Now if you look at the, the story of the two teams on how they got here, it really is a, they're conflicting stories. As Braxton finished the season 10 and 13 and 6 and 5 in the region. And if you if you watch the games early on, you would you wouldn't believe if people told you that they're going to be here for a chance to play in the state title. But they were winning at the end of the season when it mattered. They won four straight, twice against Wirt, once against South Harrison, and their last game against Trinity Christian was a double overtime thriller. To uh, for them to be able to host this game as they played the loser out of the other side of the bracket, which Frankfurt ended up losing. Frankfurt, on the other hand. You, you'd expect them to be here as they finished first in the region. They had a much better than winning record. And it's, I wonder, I, I just want to know what goes through the Trinity or Frankfurt set or their heads whenever they're playing in Braxton. Because Braxton's not supposed to be here and Frankfurt knows they're supposed to be here. And they were probably supposed to be owning or hosting a, a, the game to go to the state playoffs. We're going to try and uh, get Coach Lunsford here in just a couple minutes. And we're going to go to a commercial break as there's a lot going on here before this tip off. So, like I said, just make sure you're sharing the broadcast out, letting people know what's going on because this is going to be a good game. No matter what the records show or anything else shows, this is the game to go to the state to the state uh, tournament, so share that link out, tune in, and we'll be back after the short set of commercials. I think if you're looking for a job in healthcare, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. 
Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. Go for good times. Go for a job? Yep, that's right. GoMart is hiring. With competitive wages, full benefits, a 401k, and flexible schedules, who wouldn't want to work alongside that adorable gopher? And even if you aren't a fan of cute rodents, we've got plenty of other reasons for you to apply for a position. So go to GoMart.com to submit your application online today. And best yet, we'll get you from interview to working in a week. So go to GoMart.com to learn more. Welcome back to Braxton Live in the Mid-State Chevy pregame show. I'm here with Braxton's head coach, Coach Lunsford. Now, Coach, you guys realistically weren't supposed to make it this far. And uh, you were talking earlier, you're nervous. Just what's been making you nervous so far about just this game and the run in general? I mean, it's not it's not just this game. Um, I get nervous for every single basketball game I coach. I have for uh, you know, 13 years now as a head coach. So um, I tell everybody, when you when you quit getting nervous, it's time to hang it up because you don't care. Um, but, you know, as far as nobody expecting us to be here, that's what we've thrived on. Um, you know, we, we started off a year rough, and, and I, I knew that at the beginning of the year. I told everybody at the beginning of the year, listen, we're, we're not going to be very good. And we weren't. No, we were bad. Um, and still, I mean, even now, it, it, when you look at 23 games later, we're still learning. These guys are so young, and we're still getting better every single game. And But the difference is now is they've, they've, got, they've kind of bought in. They bought into what we're selling as coaches, and, and they understand that, you know, hey, maybe, maybe – Maybe these guys do kind of have an idea of what they're talking about at times. So it, we've seen a big difference in them. I mean, it's been it's been fun to watch. Now I've talked to you earlier in the season. You were talking about your young players. When do you think that uh, switch for your younger players flipped, where they started to buy in and trust you guys more? So we are since we lost to Webster, we're we're six and one. Um, that was a big turning point up there. Um, the, but really, I think the biggest thing that did it, um, we were down 18 with um, well, about 10 minutes to go in the game at, uh, at work. Whenever we was over there, we were down 18 points, and they come back and won it. And um, we've been a different basketball team since then. I mean, we've really looked, looked actually like a basketball team. Now, as basketball goes, are you guys doing anything different to, you know, you guys are six and one now. Is there anything on the court that you're doing differently to that's help you guys win more games? Yeah, well, we're rebounding a little bit better, um, but in reality, we're taking a lot better shots. Um, I think the kids kind of put, spent the first part of the year trying to figure out what their role was on the team. Um, we had a lot of kids that have come up and, and from younger years that have their role and their job has been to score points. Well, you don't need five scores on the floor. You need five kids on the floor that are willing to fill their role. And, you know, they've realized that, you know, we've got a big kid underneath that's pretty good, um, shooting at about 60% from the floor. And if he shoots it every single time down the floor at 60%, we will win every game. So it's it's just one of those things where a lot of these guys have, have kind of sat back and said, hey, you know, I'm going to shoot the shots that I shoot well, and then we're going to pass up those other ones. And maybe get somebody else gets a shot that they shoot well. And, and that's – that's what's been, been a cool thing about seeing these guys grow as basketball players. All right, just got one more question for you. What's been your message to your team to, like, make sure the moment's not getting too big for them and they're not getting nervous and they're just going to play their game? Well, I mean, we just show up with work and prepare. I mean, that, that's what we've done ever since. When we was going to Trinity, we prepared. You know, we watched film. You know, we talk about the strengths and the weaknesses of the team. What are the things that we want to take away? And we've done the same thing here. We're coming in with what are they good at? What are they bad at? What do we want to make them do? And, you know, that's all you can do. You know, I had some of the best advice I ever got as a coach was take away what the other team does well. And if you're able to do that, you're going to win a bunch of games. And, and we that's what we focused on is taking away what the other team does well. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to your team. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. And I wish you the best of luck. All right, that was Coach Lunsford on a little bit of, uh, you know, just their run so far. Now, if you've noticed, he was wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I'm wearing a little uh, Hawaiian necklace. I can't remember the name off the top of my head of what they're actually called. But there is a Hawaiian theme down here at the uh, Armory. So if you do end up coming out, put on something Hawaiian and support, support our boys. We're going to come back, and I'm going to try and catch Frankfurt's coach for another interview. And we're going to be back after this short set of commercials. 
the roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us, from the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on roads that unite us. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to be the fuel that keeps you firing on all cylinders. At Case IH, we believe it's our job to provide you with solutions. That's why our Farmall and Maxim tractors, as well as our tools and attachments, are designed with you in mind. From mowing to baling to loading and more, we're here to help turn your to-dos into to-dones. At Case IH, we'll keep your days running smoothly with equipment that's durable, versatile, and highly efficient. No wonder farmers are more loyal to Case IH than any other brand. Visit your local dealer or go to caseih.com forward slash livestock for more. How dare you waste my money? This heat makes me feel sticky. No, I'm saving for a new dress! Huh, huh, that you will never fit into! Are you calling me fat? Don't make yourself crazy over energy costs. Mitsubishi Electric gives you a more efficient way to cool and heat with no duct work. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. With two huge and fully stocked locations, Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center is your adventure headquarters. Whether you see yourself in a motorized RV, a big fifth wheel, or a travel trailer, or an adventure camper, our Mountaineer RV team will help you start making memories. We have everything. Service available at both locations. Over 225 new and pre-owned RVs on both lots. And the largest parts and accessories stores available at both locations. Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center is here for you. Come join the MTRV family. Welcome back to Braxton Live in the Mid-State Chevy Halftime Show. I'm down here at the student section, and I'm going to say Jaden Stewart here had a lot of uh, input on putting everything together. So what exactly is going on here right now? So we've got a uh, Hawaiian theme here for the student section tonight. Um, just trying to get the students involved, get everybody hyped up, and support these, these kids here, try to send them to states. All right. I know, I know you do a lot here in the county as far as basketball goes. I know you take care of the youth basketball. Can you uh, explain what you, what all you do there? So with the youth league, um, myself and a, a group of members, we, uh, you know, we organize the league each year, get coaches, volunteer coaches up and running, um, you know, get everything set, schedule set, communicate with the schools, um, and then, you know, just make sure everything runs smooth with that. We, we had a great year this year, changed some things around in the fifth and sixth grade league, um, plan on doing, you know, some awesome things again next year. And, possibly adding in a first and second grade league as well. All right. Now, I also know that you, you've you been kind of taking the front of putting together the alumni game. Can you explain what all is going to be going down at the alumni game? As I know the high school is also opening up the new gym on yeah. that day. Yeah. So th this is the uh, third year that we'll, we've had the alumni game. Um, this year is, is a big one for us. Um, the superintendent, Donna Tietrich, um, she's, you know, been a big, big help in getting this push for the new gym something that's needed done for a long time. So she's going to have the uh, cutting ceremony for the some alumni events. We'll have a teachers versus board of education game, um, first responders game. It'll be called the guns and hoses game. So um, the firefighters will play against the police officers. Uh, we'll have two different alumni games, um, one for the, the older guys who are just wanting to go back there, kind of laid back, play some ball, not go too crazy. We'll have one for the young guys who want to get out there and still run and you know play play a little bit more physical of a game. And we're also going to have a game for the students. So any student that wants to come out and play in that Braxton County High School, middle school, anybody that wants to come out and get on that floor for the first time is welcome to do that as well. All right, just one more question for you. What are you expecting to see here tonight? I'm expecting to see uh, I'm expecting to see a loud crowd. Uh, you know, I want to see our boys play hard. Um, you know, for, for a couple of them, this could be their last time ever playing basketball, uh, or they could go to states. It'll be the fifth time in the school's history. So, you know, it's not every day we send somebody there, and I think tonight you'll see them really fired up and uh, trying to be just the fifth team to do so. Is there anyone on the team and specifically you'd like to shout out before they play? I want to shout out my brother. Uh, I've been playing ball with that boy, man, for as long as I can remember. I want to shout him out, and uh, good luck to him, man. All right, thank you. We will be right back after another short set of commercials and uh, hopefully try and catch a Frankfurt coach.
We'll be right back. Dr. Chad Lancaster, DDS, offers comprehensive quality care for the entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. Clear Mountain Bank is now open at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Our team is what makes the difference. Stop by the new branch office and talk to Phyllis, Abby, and Ben, and let us show you the community banking difference. Our full service branch provides extended hours through our video teller service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, please stop by our new location at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Welcome back to Braxton Live in the Mid-State Chevy Pre-Game Show. I'm here with Frankfurt's coach, Coach Slider. Coach Slider, you are one game away from going to this state tournament. What are just some emotions going through your head, other coaches' head, maybe some of your players' heads right now? Well, it's been since 2010 since we've been to the state tournament. Uh, I was president for that. It was one of my second, I think, my second year as a head coach. So it's been a lot of, a lot of thought of getting there in past years and we've been close many times but can never get past the regional game so this is a big game for us because we need to get past that mark so that we can start moving forward. I feel like once we get there we could possibly get there a few years back to back. All right so have you had any trouble with your team kind of trying to overlook this game as you guys came in as the one seed Braxton County do you look at it, they're kind of not supposed to be here. Has there been any problem making sure that no one's overlooking the game? I mean, I think there's been times throughout the season where we've overlooked games, but I feel like our boys are dialed in tonight and they're ready to, to play. So we'll see as the, when the ball gets tipped, we'll see how close we're dialed in here. All right, I got one more question for you. Who on your team should the fans and anyone watching look for tonight to just put in effort, score, whatever it is? I mean, I feel like the eight kids that we play, any one of them could put put in the effort that we could that, that you would expect to see. Um, our fans at home, they're going to be watching for every one of those eight kids as well. But uh, yeah, any one of these boys could score. We have that potential. Uh, we have a couple that maybe light it up a little bit more than others. But overall, I mean, we're looking for a total team effort from each one of our players. All right, thank you. I'll let you get back to doing whatever you need to do. Thank you for your time. Right, thank you. Yep. That was Coach Slider for Frankfurt. And tip-off here is going to be in about two minutes. So, like I said, if you can, if you're watching right now and you're thinking about coming down, go ahead and come down and get the crowd pumped up and be loud. And our team's coming out. It's starting to get loud, so we're going to cut and uh, go to commercial and start getting some footage to get ready for tip-off. Do you have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? by enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us. We're open daily at 11 a.m. Looking for competitive wages, full benefits, a 401k, and the cutest gopher co-worker ever? Okay, you won't actually be working alongside a gopher, but the good pay, full benefits, and 401k are the real deal. Your local GoMart is hiring, and we're looking for friendly employees to help keep our customers on the go. And with flexible work schedules, it means you can still do the things in your life you love while earning cash. We'll get you from interview to working in a week. So head to GoMart.com to apply today. Welcome back to Braxton Live in the Mid-State Mid Chevy pregame show. We are just seconds away from getting tipped off here, so just remember to share out the broadcast. And if you look on the screen, there's going to be QR codes. Make sure you're setting those QR codes out and scanning them. You can also keep up with the stats as uh, the game goes. Keep up with the stats as they're going live, as that's been a feature we've added this year. So if you want to see who has what points and for Frankfurt or us, you can keep up with that. So like I said, just make sure you tune in. We're getting ready to get things underway, announce some starters. So thank you again, and we'll be right back, and we'll get this game underway. 
in up West Virginia at Midstage Chevrolet. I-79 exit 67 in Flatwood. We're stocked deeper than ever and we're selling them cheaper than ever too. With over 100 brand new Chevys on the ground now, we've got the ride you want for the price you want to pay. Unheard of low, low financing rates too. Plus, we stand behind everything we sell. With our exclusive 10-year 150,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. MidstateChevy.com Chevy by New Roads. At Glimble State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimble State University, you can become a pioneer. Caesar's stuffed crazy crust is stuffed with cheese and has a delicious buttery garlic flavored crust. And it's $9.49, making it the lowest price in stuffed crust. And I'm out of time. There was more time. Pizza, pizza. Yes. I wish I was Justin Jefferson. I wish I was eating Little Caesar's pizza. How about another slice, Wart? Thanks, Dad. So tasty. JJ wants Little Caesar's stuffed crazy crust for just $9.49. Pizza, pizza. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives. To facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Number two is Cameron Lynch. Number five, Cameron Layton. Wearing number 11, Jeremy Phillips. Number 21, Jeremiah Babo. And wearing number 24, Darius Gray. Head coach of Frankfurt, Mr. Daniel Schleider. Now, for the Braxton County Eagles. Number four, Riley Hunt. Number five, Brady Kohler. Wearing number 11, Landon Stewart. Number 22, Owen Lowther. Rounding out the starters for Braxton County, wearing number 23, Stevie Bowles. Number 23, Stevie Bowles. And there we go. Lineups, lineups have been listed. And you know what I find very interesting is because WVSSAC, I believe, uh, supply the officials. So right. we haven't seen any three of these guys. So this is all, I mean, it's a whole different atmosphere. This is pre-state tournament play. Yes, it is. This one official, we used to have him in some of the middle school games, I think, over to the left. Yes. I've seen him. Uh, yes, yeah. I think he a long time. And he I think typically does a good job. So here we go. And the Eagles win the tip. And into the hands of Stewart, right side. Nice job by Boggs to tip it out. Right into the hands of Lowther. Lowther has a wing. He's looking for a three. It's in! And a big three start for That's your start. Hey, won the tip and got points. There you go. It's a win-win. It is. Here comes the Falcons. Give me a while for the names. Gray has it. Swings the left side to Layton. Back up top now to Phillips. Eagles fans are going crazy here in the armory. Looking for a corner three from Gray. It's off the mark. Rebound by... Lynch, Lynch can't come up. We got a foul called early on the floor. And that looks like that's going to be on who, Gary? I believe that's going to be on number 22. Isn't that Mr. Lowder? Lowder? That is. His first team foul, number one. And, for and you got to watch the reach like that. As tempting as it is. Long three for number two. Tipped ah, out by Bones. Eagles can't control it. Should have had that. And another 10-footer for Phillips is good. And the Falcons will hit one, three to two. And that's what we got to watch. We can't get second opportunities. Exactly. Kohler into the front court. Swings it 
right into Stewart on the cut to the baseline. He's trapped underneath, tries to go up, loses the ball to Babo, and here come the Falcons. Quickly into the front court. Hand off, baseline shut down for number 24, Gray. He kicks it back out to Phillips. He has it left wing, almost walked with that. He's looking for a three, off the balance, off the mark, no good, and it goes out of bounds off of the Falcons. Phillips off the mark. Now the thing is, we don't want him to get uh, on fire here. <laughs> Got a lot of people talking to us, not realizing we're on the radio or something, I don't know. That's like socializing. Yeah, I'm telling you, 3-2 Eagles lead with possession. Here we go, Toler takes it in the backcourt, walks it across the timeline. Toler looking, goes right side, looks to dribble down to penetrate. Can't see, the officials in the way, bounce pass inside, and that is Bulls, and he's got it. Nice job, Stevie. Five to two, Eagles lead, 627 a ticket here in the first. Gray brings it into the front court for the Falcons. Looking around, Scannis kicks it left side to Phillips. Phillips off the screen, back up to Gray. Gray kicks it into the corner, back out to right wing. He wanted to shoot, dribbles in. Floater over top of Boggs, no good. Rebound, Stewart, here come the Eagles. Eagles lead 5-2, Stewart slows it up, brings it into the front court, right side into the corner. Tolder's looking for a three, and it's there. Light him up, coach. Got to keep two. it going, got to keep it going. Yeah, we got a lot of basketball left. Gray into the front court. Left side, into Layton. Layton now into the corner. Lynch back out to Phillips. Now he's got Gray on the right side. They're just swinging around the perimeter. Looking for inside work. Looking to dribble penetrate. That's number five. Shots off the mark. No good. Tip in. Oh, nice rebound. Is good for Cameron Lynch. Stewart stepped out and didn't get the box out and got an easy bucket there. Too easy. Eight to four. Falcons trail by five. Take care of the basketball. Toler looks to dribble in. Kicks it. Hunt's looking for a six-footer. Off the mark. No good. Balls can't get it. Rebound. Gray. And here come the Falcons. Quickly in transition. Phillips says it goes baseline. Trapped. Kicked and it's stolen by Stewart. Here we go. Stewart's going to oh, slow it up. up. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go into the front court. 5-0-4 ticking here in the first. Eagles lead 8-4. Back up top. Toler's going to reset the offense. Mr. Strifey's in the wrong place. I'm telling you, you can't see a lick. Lowther <laughs> looking inside for Boggs. It's not there. Stewart, I'm glad he didn't dump that over the top. Stewart looks to dribble in, and we got a hold. And the first Falcon foul of the quarter. That's a foul on number five there. Cameron Layton picks up Late. his first. My, my screen got changed. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. I didn't touch it. All right, team fouls, one apiece now. Toller kicks it to Stewart. Looking for the cutter, Hunt. Oh, I thought he was going to pull the trigger. Toller, bounce pass up to Lowther. Lowther looks to dribble, penetrate, shots up. Hey, can't get it. Oh, oh, nice shot Hunt. What a great follow-up by Riley Hunt to tip it in. I'd give him a dunk on that. That, that, was, that was a forceful push through. Yes. <laughs> Ten to four, Eagles lead. Gray has it almost stolen by Lowther. Can't get it. Controlled by Layton. He's looking for a three. It's out. No good. Hunt controls the rebound. And the Eagles quickly up the floor. Here we go. Into the front court. Toler working against. Dump past the balls. Balls can't get at the ball. Tipped, controlled by Hunt, still alive with this possession. Lowther looks to go. We got an injured player on the floor. Lowther's shot is up. And we've got Darius Gray on the floor. It looks like he hit his head. So they're, gonna, they're gonna tend to him. Cracked his head. Well, he was very aggressive against Toler. And he did hit his head he off the floor. He bounced his head hard. Sure did. And we're gonna have a first time out of the contest. It's gonna be a 60 second break. We'll be back here on 100.3, the Summit in 60. Do you have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? By enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us we're open daily at 11 a.m.
The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives. To facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Welcome back. A 10 to 4 lead for your Eagles here in the first. Under four minutes to go here. Eagles with possession. Stewart inbounds it to Hunt. Hunt goes up, shot up Justin. And we got a fighting forward all over. Landon Stewart comes out with it. Kicks it out to Lowther. He's looking for a three. Is it there? It is. 13 to 4, Eagles with the lead. 3.40 and ticking. Falcons quickly in transition. Got a new player in for Gray. You got McKenzie in. He kicks it right side. Gray back to McKenzie. Bounce pass back to Phillips. Phillips, they're just moving around. Corner shot. And that's good for Layton. 13 to 7, Falcons trail by six. Here come the Eagles. You almost hate to say it, but the Eagles need to score in just about every possession. Every possession, yeah. They can't assume anything. Boggs tried to dribble in. Shut down by the defense. Lowther's going to go baseline. He's shut down. Kicks it to Toller. Toller goes baseline. He's shut down. Trapped. Lowther passes off. Could have had a three. He's looking for a two. It's on the mark. Good. If he's hot tonight, keep feeding him, boys. That's exactly right. Shoot to him, or throw it to him, three misses. 15-7. Here come the Falcons. In the corner. Working out of the trap. Back up top to McKenzie. He's looking for a three. Off the mark, rebound. Eagles, Lowther gets bumped. And that's going to be a foul, I believe, on Babu. And it is. Jumped right into, was that Toller? He put no, Lowther, I think. Oh, Lowther, okay. Knocked I couldn't tell. I had to fish yeah. away. Right between your stripes, he had Lowther. Yeah, okay. I was looking at the white stripes. It was like snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be fall this evening. That could be. 2.36 on the rolling first quarter clock, 15 to 7. Eagles lead. A lot of basketball left. Got to maintain this intensity. Bounce oh, pass. Nice job getting there. Lowther just about lost it. Saved it. Kicks it to Stewart. Stewart looks to dribble in. He loses it. It's a battle. Boggs has it. Shots up. Can't get it to fall. Another but foul. That's going to be old Boo Boo. That might be his second. I believe you're correct. Let's see what the official says. That is right. You should have been a carpenter, Gary, because you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> And that's going to send balls to the line to shoot two. We need all of these we can get. These are going to matter to the season. Yes. Balls, oh. his first shot flat. Got to put some legs into it, Stevie. Clock has stopped at 222. 15 to 7, Eagles lead. Come on, Stevie. At least get one of them. Oh. Too strong. Off the back, and we doesn't have an Eagle for the rebound. Could have had a put back. 0 for 2 from the line, Stevie Boggs. Got to have those, buddy. Here come the Falcons. McKenzie kicks it to Layton. Now left side, back up top to Layton. Back over to long three, tipped out. Who's got it? And it's going to be Eagle basketball. Shot off the mark for Layton. I believe that was off of Lynch's fingertips. Worked out well for us. Under two minutes to go. Here we go. Eagles. Toller walks it across the timeline. Looks to dribble in and penetrate. Dump pass to Hunt. Hunt shot. It's good. Nice job, Riley Hunt. 17-7. Ten-point lead for the Eagles. We need them all. McKenzie. He's looking for a three. Nope. Kicks it. Almost throws it out of bounds in front of the Eagle bench. Layton has it. Now he finds number two, Cameron Lynch, and that bucket's good. 17-9. Yeah, and here they come into the front court. Toller. Working from the top of the key. Looks to dribble in, spin move. He's looking for a 12-footer. It's good. 19-9, Eagles lead here. And here come the Falcons quickly up the floor. McKenzie looks to dribble in the foul line. Shut down, kicks it back out to Lynch. Now right side to Layton. Back up top to McKenzie. Left side to Layton. Got a lot of Laytons on this team. Yeah. I noticed that. Layton has it in the corner, looking for a three again. Off the mark, Ray. Oh, Hunt. nice job. Riley Hunt, but tipping it back to himself. That's a good he job. He did. Here comes Boggs. He's going to go coast to coast. Dump pass to Stewart. Got to kick it out. Lowther's looking for a third three. 
It's the hair. <laughs> Do not keep him from shooting. And Frankfurt's going to take a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second break. Eagles lead 22 to 9 here on 100.3, the summit. It wouldn't make sense if you turned on something in one room and it turned on everywhere else. But that's exactly how traditional cooling and heating systems work. So you pay more than you should. But Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you a better way with no waste and lower energy bills. Control temperatures precisely in one or every room with no new ductwork. So everyone can enjoy ultimate personal comfort. Mitsubishi Electric, make yourself comfortable. Clear Mountain Bank is now open at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Our team is what makes the difference. Stop by the new branch office and talk to Phyllis, Abby, and Ben, and let us show you the community banking difference. Our full service branch provides extended hours through our video teller service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, please stop by our new location at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Layton tries to go off the screen, floater over the top, flat off the point, no good. Stevie Balls with the rebound, and we got a rebound or a foul. I believe that's going to be on number four, isn't it? Uriah Cutter. Cutter. Hanging on to the ball. Four team foul for the Falcons. And you can't tell me that travel doesn't affect your first quarter. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, we, and we talked about that. Yes, we did. Here, and the benefits of home court advantage. For sure. Here come the Eagles. They lead 22 to 9, 18 seconds, looking for a last shot. Riken dumps it in. Stewart's got it. And the baseline. Oh, nice shot. Good. 10 seconds to go. Eagles lead 24 9. Stewart. Here comes McKenzie up the floor. They're going to kick it back up top to Lynch. She's looking for a long three. It's off the mark. No good. The Eagles come out with a rebound. Rutherford tries a 98 footer, and it's no good. <laughs> no good. Family Furniture Center in Gasway has living room suites, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattress sets, desks, tables, chairs. They have it all. Free delivery, free setup, and financing available. Are you needing home improvement items? Stop by Rex Road Supply Company for your treated lumber, flooring, paint, tools, and so much more. Family Furniture Center and Rex Road Supply. State Street, across from the Braxton County Armory in Gasway. A proud supporter of Braxton County High School Sports. It is truck month at Mark LaRose Ford in Gasaway. Now through the 31st, they have slashed prices on all new F-150s in stock to just $62 under invoice to save you thousands on your next ride. Like a 2023 Super Crew starting at just $48,962. Plus, take advantage of rates as low as 3.9%. Shop all of these deals online at MarkLaRoseFord.com or visit today. Just 62 seconds off exit 62 in Gasaway. It is Mark LaRose Ford. Jackson County Armory. Eagles on top of the Falcons, 24-9. Big first quarter, Gary. Betsy. I tell you what, when you come on from quarter shooting 67% and 100% from a three-point shot, things go your way. We just need that for three more quarters. Second quarter underway. Falcons with possession. Up top to Phillips. Phillips looks to dribble in. Nope, he's going to kick it back out. Baseline drive by Gray. Is shut down by the Eagles defense. And now we're going to try a long two, and that is in and out. No good balls with a big nice rebound. Nice rebound. Jeremy Phillips couldn't get it to fall. Toller. Ooh, I thought he was going to go backcourt. And the thing of it is, we don't have to be aggressive uh, and Toller's try to overplay defensively either. Exactly. We got a hold. Toller with a three, and we got a hold against Gray. Yeah, he had, had his shorts. shorts. <laughs> yes, he did. He, he saw that. Yep, yeah, that's the right call. I know the crowd behind us is not <laughs> happy, but that's the right call. <laughs> About pulled his shorts down. Yeah, he did. If Stevie would have turned the other way, we'd have seen a lot of things we didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Eagles with possession. Toller looks to dribble in. Kicks it across court to Stewart. The rough pass. Three centers are going to be lost. The Eagles. Rutherford comes out with it. Dumps it in to Nettles. Nettles goes up. Hands off the Boggs. And the reverse. Oh, good. my gosh. And the foul. <laughs> That's just good. And the foul. 12. Goes. Jake Late. Late. We got two Leightons on this team. And I would have swore there's more than one Lynch. <laughs> he's, he's moved around a lot. I'm I know telling that. you. 
Come 20, on, Steven, we've got to have these. 26 to nine, and that free throw is ah. flat. Oh, big save by the Falcons. And here they come. McKenzie quickly up the floor. He's got Phillips in the corner. Phillips can't do anything with him. He's got to kick it back up top to Gray. Right side, McKenzie. McKenzie looking inside, almost lost the ball off his leg. Back out the left wing to Gray. Eagles lead 26 to nine. Bounce pass over to Phillips from the right wing. Back up top, McKenzie dumps it in to Cutter. Baseline drive, back into Cutter. Cutter's bluff and he's fouled. They call Nettles for the foul, and he did hit his arm. Right call. 42. Yep. Mr. Nettles. Blocked the shot, caught his arm. Hey, still a momentum move. It sure is. So Cutter's going to go to the line to shoot two for the Falcons. First free throw off the All mark. Right. Hey, they're matching the Eagles. Let's keep it up. That's right. Clock stopped at 647. Got some substitutions coming in for the Falcons. McKenzie's checking out. Layton's checking back in. Cutter ready for his second shot. Shots up, and it's a good. And now we have got Babo checking back in for Cutter. 26-10, Eagles lead, and here the this could be our nemesis. Falcons going to press the Eagles here a little bit. Solar takes his time, gets it across the timeline into the front court. Stewart has it left wing. Coach Lunchford calling the play. Looks to dribble baseline, almost lost it. He barely saved it. Still trying. Bounce past the Nettles, and it's good for Nettles. 28-10, Eagles lead, 6.25 and rolling here. Tipped out by oh, Lunchford, stolen nice by Nettles, nice Eagles. save. Oh, I don't know how they said you had to see it, folks. <laughs> yeah. Rutherford has it to Nettles. Back it's, to Rutherford. It's not done yet. <laughs> nope. It's total pandelirium, and we got a hold, and I believe that's on Gray. Uh, that is. Three, yes, it is. And how many? Is that, that's his just, second? that should be his second. Third team foul for the Falcons. Babu has two, and Gray has two for Frankfurt. Boggs and Stewart checking out for the Eagles. Get a quick break, get them back in. Lowther back in for the Eagles. You've got Nettles, Hunt, Lowther, Toller, and Rutherford. Toller takes the inbound. Looks to dribble in, loses it out of bounds. It stays knocked out by the Falcons. Going to stay Eagle ball. I wouldn't leave a lot of personnel out right now that we got out. Yeah. <laughs> Rutherford. Whoa. Long three, it banks in. <laughs> the bank is open, Gary. That's, that's when things are going your way, brother. 31-10, yeah, here come the Falcons. Into the middle, that's Lynch. Loses the ball, here comes Lowther. Got numbers. Nice, nice bounce pass to Rutherford, shots up, it's good. In transition. 33-10. Here come the Falcons. Gray, left wing. Almost lost it. Kicks it to Layton, he looks baseline, shots up. No good, but he's fouled on the play. That might be on Nettles. That'll be two for him, I think, right? Yes. He has to be on Jamie Nettles. And we got Boggs coming back in for it. Box stopped at 538. This is not enough cushion for me in this ball game, Gary. Well, we've just seen things turn around too fast, especially I'm sure Frankfurt didn't get here by not shooting well. Exactly. And the last thing we want to do is go in at halftime, let them get their composure and bounce their way back in here. Exactly. And we can't take it for granted. We got to take care of that basketball. Because just as fast as we got this lead, it can disappear. Yes, it can. Layton makes good on his first free throw. Second one coming up. 33 to 11, the Eagles lead. And the second free throw is on the mark. 33-12. Off the press, Rutherford quickly. He's got balls on the backside. Buckets good. That's the way you break a press. That is exactly how nice you break a press. Nice job, Braxton County Eagles. 35 12. Falcons quickly into the front court. Kicked out to Lynch or Layton. Layton's looking for a 12 footer. No good. And Hunt comes out and it's knocked out. Well, Hunt Eagles. turned his body and got a good position there. Bamboo would have an easy layup. Babu. I'm not, I don't, not real sure how to say his name. I'm not really either. We may have to ask at halftime. Yeah. If we're saying it wrong, folks, we're sorry. Yeah, we apologize for that. 35-12, clock stopped at 5-20. Falcons get it in to Babo. Babu 
up top to Gray. He's going to take a three. Can't do that. No, you can't, can't, can't be that easy. 35-15. Falcons back within 20. Left side to Lowther. Lowther loses it, tipped out by Gray. Boggs controls it. Boggs looks to dribble out, finds some help. He finds Lowther. And we're going to have a timeout. I thought Lowther was going to turn it over on a travel. So we've got a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll be back here in 60 seconds. Eagle lead, 35-15, back at 60. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us, from the feelings that move us, the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to be the fuel that keeps you firing on all cylinders. Little Caesar's Stuffed Crazy Crust is stuffed with cheese and has a delicious buttery garlic flavored crust. And it's 9.49, making it the lowest price in stuffed crust. And I'm out of time. There was more time. Pizza, pizza. Yes. I wish I was Justin Jefferson. Wish I was eating Little Caesar's Pizza. How about another slice, Wart? Thanks, Dad. So tasty. JJ wants Little Caesar's Stuffed Crazy Crust for just 9 49 Pizza, pizza. Welcome back to the Braxton County Armory. Coming out of the Eagle timeout, 4.52 remains in this first half. 35-15, Eagles lead. Got a lot of basketball left, Gary, Betsy. Yeah, we still got to take care of the ball. That's going to be the outcome of this game. And we got to play like it's tied, if that makes any Ab sense. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We got to play in like we did double overtime. Big three-point bucket. Was that Rutherford? Yeah, coach didn't want a shot, and he hit a three. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You don't pull your reins in until you're done. No, you don't. Not until they start. Big three. They just matched it by Phillips. And I'll try to trade a three for three and not a turnover for a three. Absolutely. 38-18, Eagles lead. Stewart has the left wing. Looking for help. Picked up his dribble. He's got Lowther. Kicks it back up top to Toller. Toller looking almost loses the basketball. Kicks it back to Lowther. Under four to go here in the first half. Lowther was wanting to pull the trigger. Yeah, I don't know what they've been instructed to do. Back to Lowther. Oh. Lowther needs some help and finds Toller. Toller's looking to dribble in. Shots up, flat. Balls with the rebound, and the putback's good. All right, Stevie is doing a knockdown job in there tonight. Him and yes, Riley Hunt is doing real, real good. Yes, they are. 40 to 18. Eagles lead over the Falcons. Here comes Gray into the front court, dumps it in to Babo. On the cut, Layton spins. Going against, bucket no good. Lowther's gonna pick up the foul. And that'll be number two on Mr. Lowther. And he wouldn't have had that foul, correct me if I'm wrong, if he'd have kept his feet. Kept his feet, didn't need to leave the ground. That's gonna put Layton at the line to shoot two here for the Falcons. And he is two for two tonight. And now he's three for three. First bucket's good. He has been perfect from a three throw tonight. Yes, he is. <laughs> Trying to get that announcer. Uh, I'd like to congratulate, congratulate Layton for being perfect from the line right so far tonight. There we go. No Clock, pressure. No pressure at all. Clock stopped at 316. And he misses. Nice jinx. Here we go. Boggs with the rebound, and here come the Eagles. Toller walks it across the timeline. Bounce pass over to Stewart. Bad bounce pass. Stewart saved it. Mm. Stewart has it left wing. Pulls the trigger on the three. It's good. Man, when you're on, you're on. Yeah, keep shooting, guys. 43-19. Here come the Falcons. Big three. Off the mark. Rebound Nettles. Oh. oh, my goodness. Heads up. Heads up. Wow. I was looking for the name for the shot. I didn't see it. Rutherford was all the way past half court, all by himself. He had a turn. We had a layup. <laughs> That's okay. We didn't turn it over. That's we right. 43 19, 240 on a rolling second period clock. Kick it left side to Stewart. 
Stewart working against McKenzie, trying to find a little help. Toler, he's working against Phillips. Kicks it right side to Rutherford. Rutherford goes baseline, dumps it into Boggs. Nettles has it. Back out top for Stewart. Lights up a three, and it's off the mark. Nettles can't get it. Goes out of bounds and off of Lynch. So possession stays in favor of the Eagles. Clock stopped at 218. In for the Eagles. You got Stewart, Nettles, Boggs, Rutherford, and Toler. Metal says it left wing. Don't want him dribbling. Love him to death. <laughs> Not a good combination, right? No. Defense extends the Eagles out. Toler centers it back up. Going to come right side, back over left side to Rutherford. Dump it in the Boggs. He wasn't ready. Boggs saved it, thankfully. That was a good pass because he'd been ready. Yes, it was. Toler dribbles in, penetrates. 15-footer on the mark. Here we go. 45-19, here come the Falcons. McKenzie into the front court, hands off to Lynch. <laughs> now to Layton, bounce pass extended out, kicking it left side. Almost stolen by Rutherford, good try. McKenzie looks for a three, off the mark, no good. Lynch with the rebound, and he dribbles in, and it's gonna be a travel. And that was the right call. It, it really was, Boggs tied it up. Yes. Frankfurt's wanting to foul, but that was the right call, I think. Yeah, I think it was a good call. It did, I don't care what game of the year, that was the right call. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not saying because this is a regional game. I'm just saying it was the right call. 45-19, 122 remains in this opening half. Told her going to walk it across the timeline. Choose some clock. Told her looks to dribble in. Loses the ball, and it's going to be a jump ball. And see, I don't think we needed to force that. No, no, I agree with you. And they get the ball into Boggs. Boggs to Toler, he loses it, goes out of bounds. You can tell we're not used to making a lot about early in the season about because we're throwing them at the guy's feet. Yes. All right, here we go, Falcons. Swinging around the perimeter. Layton goes in, shot, partially blocked. Who's going to get that foul? Mr. Hunt, I believe. Looks, he looked to the official, so he kind of sold it, didn't he? Four, Riley Hunt. That's his first. That's going to send Cameron Lynch to the line to shoot two for the Falcons. First free throw. Rims in and out, no good. We still have people filing their way into this gymnasium. And a lot of people still expect games to start at 7.30 like they do. Yep. You know. Second shot for Lynch is good, 45-20. Eagles under a minute to go in this opening half. McKenzie working against Toler. Toler kicks it right side, Rutherford. Nice spin move. Take to the, he loses, gets fouled on the drive to the bucket. Looked like he was laying an egg right there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of worked out of the way. Be number four, Cutter. Cutter. That's his second. Eagle possession, that's both teams, 14 fouls each. So next foul, no matter what, somebody will be shooting two. 45 seconds remains, Eagles with possession. Get the ball into Boggs. Must know he can't shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Kick it up to Toler. Toler has it tipped out of his hands, and a transition, that's McKenzie. Fast break, hey, and he's fouled by Rutherford. And that wasn't a bad foul. Nope, just enough of a hand. Shot was no good, and that's going to send Bryson McKenzie to the line to shoot a couple. That's going to make him earn it. Absolutely. You get to that. That's, that's the thing. Is that Rutherford's first foul? Yes. First free throw for McKenzie is good, 45-21. Right now, McKenzie's perfect from the line tonight. Uh, it's a good call. You just jinxed him. There it was. Nope, nope. He's still perfect. He's still perfect. <laughs> that can happen. No hurry, guys. No hurry. No hurry, no pressure in the backcourt. Stewart trots across the timeline. See, right there's a mismatch. Yes. A little crossover, take him the hole. Stewart kicks it left side. Tollers. That's our second turnover in yeah. the last minute, probably. Get composure, guys. No, three turnovers in the last minute and 25 seconds. Correct. That's too many. McKenzie kicks it left side to Phillips. Back up top to McKenzie. 
Right side to Layton. Down to 10 seconds here. And we've got long three, no good. Eagles finally control the rebound. We got one second. Looking for a shot. It's going to be off the mark. It's short, and that's the half. A big first half for the Eagles. However, the half that matters now is we coming up. Still got 16 minutes to play. We do. 45 22, Eagles lead. We'll be back after a two-minute break here on 100.3, The Summit. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done, which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. From farm all compact and utility tractors to balers and mowers, Case IH equipment gives you the efficiency and the versatility you need to get things done. To learn more, visit caseih.com livestock. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com WV to find out more. If RPMs raise your BPMs, if the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. How easy is it to purchase your new camper at Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Our knowledgeable staff can show you over 150 new and pre-owned RVs on site. Our team will ensure that all stress is removed from the buying process as you become a part of the Mountaineer RV family. How easy is it to use your new camper for Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Pick a spot, unwind, and start making memories. Come check out your adventure headquarters, Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center. money for my new shoes, honey. There's an easier way. Mitsubishi Electric Systems cool and heat more efficiently with no duct work. See how at MitsubishiComfort.com. I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. That's why I do is go and get these boys' confidence up in their shooting, get them relaxed, and they'll come back and make a game out of it. I yes, really feel will. that. So we have to be ready on our end. I'm really surprised that their press has, wasn't more aggressive, though. Again, you know, travel three and a half hours. You know, you in can, a school bus. Oh, in a school bus. You can get, you can get just in a funk that you don't, no, you know, like a zone, like, I, I think I'm moving faster than I am. Right. <laughs> so, let's just hope they stay in that for another two quarters. Uh, exactly. Let's shoot down and get some stats from uh, your lovely wife, Betsy. Well, as far as stats go, um, <laughs> thank you. I, I did hear that. that, that, did you hear that did yes, know? I did. Did you hear um, the lovely part? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, we have led the entire half, which is great. But as far as shooting percentages, the Eagles are shooting 70%. Amazing for a team. Um, I don't think we can continue that. If we do, I will apologize for that at the end of the game. But We'll be we are, tickled to death if they could do that. Absolutely. We're but 19 for 27 for, for field goals. We're shooting seven for nine threes. Amazing. Wow. Uh, Frankfurt's 27%. They're six for 22 from field Gotta goals. Wave it. They're three for 14 three-pointers. So, obviously, they – they like to shoot the threes. Um, turnovers, we did not have a turnover to the last minute, 30 seconds, something like that. So, uh, but we had three turnovers, bang, bang, bang there. Um, uh, Frankfurt had four turnovers. 
rebounds. We've out rebounded them 15 to eight. Um, bench points 11 to seven or 10 to three. Um, so anyhow, we just all around. The uh, points in the paints, I, I think, is just really what's impressive. Points in the paint, 18 to there too. 18 wow. points. So that so, says a lot right there. Yeah, uh, assists too, great for Braxton with seven assists for the for the half. That's so great. Really proud of that. Well, we come out. We said that they had to play better than they did. They had to play as good or better than they did at Trinity. Yes. They've done that for a half. Here's the thing. Yeah, you got to do it for another half. Yes. But if they if they're playing at this level and they can continue this throughout the rest of the game, they're playing at the level they need to enter into Charleston if we make oh, it there. And you know, if you remember when we was up at Trinity, we talked to Coach Lunsford. He said if we if we peak, we need to peak now. And they did against Trinity. And here they are. They've continued on. They played four good quarters. Here's two more quarters. They got six quarters under their belt. We just got to go to eight. And then once we reach that point, then we got to have what eight, twelve more. Exactly. And, yep. and it, it's not impossible. It is not. I mean, we watched these guys. They shot with confidence, and they and they've been making their shoot, shots. When you're shooting seventy-eight percent behind the arc, how are you going to compete with that? Right. All I would do as a coach go in and say, shoot more. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. If you, if you got the good shot, shoot it. Yep. Now here's the thing: we flop into the floor. Sometimes that could be a. That could be. We will be on the student body side. Sometimes that will affect you mentally. Right. You know, it would be nice, and it's just my opinion, if the student body would shift. Yes. You know, I would just start, and I, not to be rude, but come up here and crowd out and get on this end because this is where they can do more damage. Down here, they can just cheer for you. Right. Yep, and absolutely. if you notice, uh, Frankfurt's already out shooting, trying to get that shot back. They're trying to get the edge back, yep. Yeah. Well, hopefully they get it back. About one minute left to go in the game, and they're still down 25. Or 20 or so. Don't wish any ill will against them, but. Uh, well, I don't care if we tie the next two quarters. That's just kind of guy I am. There you go. There What's you go. the points scoring look like, Gary? Oh, you want me to share yeah, that? Yeah, take those stats. I, I didn't, All right, here I we didn't go. do those. Uh, as far as uh, points so far tonight for the Frankfurt uh, Falcons, Lynch has five, Cutter with one, Layton with six, uh, McKenzie with two, Phillips with five, and Gray with three. Uh, for a total of 22 points. For the Braxton County Eagles tonight, Rutherford with eight, Hunt with four, Toller with seven, Stort with five, Boggs with eight, Lowther with 11, Nettles with two for a total of 45. Who do you guard? And it, the offense is spread among all the people that's played. Well, and that's great. That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. I mean, that, that, that's, that's every coach's dream to, to spread that out because everybody's dangerous. Minutes played. Mm-hmm. So that's exactly where we need to be. 2022 was the last time that the Eagles won a regional championship. And prior to that was 2018. Yes. Could 2024 be the next one? Well, every Central West Virginia Real Estate is the leading real estate sales agency in Braxton, Gilmer, and surrounding counties. Brian Groves Broker leads a team of 13 agents with over 150 years experience. Over the last few years, we've averaged a closing every four days. Central West Virginia Real Estate will market your property on over 60 leading websites, social media platforms, local advertising, and two offices at Sutton and Glenville. Are you thinking of selling or want to know what your property is worth? Contact us today at centralwvre.com. People's Bank is proud to be at the table for many local businesses when it comes to strategic financial planning. People's Bank offers customized cash management solutions for your business that can help improve collections and lower operating costs. People's Bank offers big bank options to streamline your business with hometown service that won't break the bank. When it comes to the financial part of your business, count on People's Bank to help. They'll bring a track record of success along with them. People's Bank, member FDIC. Central West Virginia Aging is looking for caregivers in all of its seven offices. If you want to make a difference in a fragile senior's life, contact Debbie at 304-765-3668. Central West Virginia Aging Services has one of the most competitive rates of pay and benefit plans in the home service industry. For more information on services needed or employment, call Debbie at 304-765-3668 or on the web at centralwvaging.org. A proud supporter of Braxton County Athletics. It's not 
not just a home or a car. It's the five hours you spent in the kitchen mastering your epic wing recipe and a three-hour family road trip to the favorite fishing hole. While other insurance companies just see them as a bundle or combo, State Farm agent Vicki Murphy sees your home and car as the time and memories you put into them. I understand what your things really mean to you, and I'm here to help you give them the right protection they deserve. Talk to me, State Farm agent Vicki Murphy in Gasaway, for your home and auto insurance today. Call 304-364-8600. Across the state of West Virginia in AA basketball next week in Charleston. And let's, uh, let's hope we're on that mission. Let's hope that we find ourselves yep. as one of the eight. Well, Frankfurt's going to start with the ball, so let's see if Braxton County can uh, put a stop to them and get us started. Well, my main concern is our dreaded third quarter. We talked about it in the mid at the halftime show. we got to have a good third quarter. That's what it's going to come down to to get that started. And then a better fourth quarter. All right, here we go. Gray across the timeline for the Falcons. Here we go. Kicks the left side to Lynch. Lynch tries to dribble in. Layup is good, and that's a start. Good start for the Falcons. And here we go. They're going to press the Eagles. Hunt looking for a guard. Kicks it to Stewart. Uh oh. Here we go. Stewart into the front court. Get your hand off of him. 45 24. Stewart step back. Bam. Pass, pass rolls in. Shot rolls in. 47 24. That was slow motion. That took forever to develop. I'm telling you. <laughs> Here come the Falcons. Over to Lynch. Left wing. Back over to Gray. Don't He's looking for a three. Open. Don't leave him open. Hey, and these shots missed. And we got to help. We're going to have a jump ball. Nice hustle there by Owen. Mr. Lowther tied that up with the big guy. Yes, he did. Should be our ball. Stewart set the inbound, working against the press of the Falcons. Toller takes the inbound, almost lost it, and quickly into the front court. Toller, and we got a foul already on Gray. Is that his third? And I tell you what, Brady Toller set that up. He just put the brakes on, didn't he? Yes, he did. He seen him coming and just kind of leaned over. It's a very, very good hustle there by. Brady Toler. So McKenzie's got to check back in for Gray. He's got three fouls. Yes, he does early in the third, and that's to our advantage. Inbound from Lowther. Toler back into the backcourt. He's going to walk it across the timeline, starting the offense from the half-court line. Looks to dribble in, and could not draw the foul. Bebo with the rebound, and here come the Falcons. McKenzie, he kicks it to Phillips. Phillips goes baseline, nowhere to go. Kicks it back up top to McKenzie. He's going to try. No, bounces it into Babo. Nowhere to go for him. McKenzie tries to dribble in, floater over the top. It's good. And you can tell that uh, Frankfurt penetrates a lot and drives to the basket. Yes, they do. Get the ball into Toller. Toller bounce past the ball. Ball goes up, shot. And it's, it's no good. Foul. And that's going to be a foul 22. McKenzie. That's his, his first. 49-26, and Boggs at the line. Now, these guys are saying, you know, I didn't foul. But when you put your hands on their waist. That's a foul. <laughs> that's a foul. <laughs> well, the coaches please we went to, that was a foul. Yeah, exactly. Boggs Steve. misses on the rebound. It goes off the Falcons and out of bounds. What a break for the Eagles. Yeah, it's off Lynch's hand as he tried to rebound it. <laughs> Boggs is perfect from the line, free throw line. Hasn't made one yet, has he? I may have to jinx him next. Yeah, do it. Eagles get the ball working around a perimeter. Lowther has it, right wing. Goes left side to Toler. Back over to Lowther. Dump pass into Hunt. He takes a fadeaway three. Goes out of bounds, and they're going to call it. Stevie is just too far under. Too far, yep. And when he left the ground, um, Lynch was able to take his hip and push him on under. So possession in favor of the Falcons, and here come the Falcons into the front court. Baseline drive, nowhere to go. They dump it into Babo. Babo, cross court. Can't tell who it is. Long three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound, Lowther, here we go. It's a foot race. He's going to take it the distance, and he loses Ooh. the ball, knocked out. A bounce. Possession stays in favor of the Eagles. 49 26. I believe that was McKenzie that knocked it out. Stewart inbounds the balls. Around the toller, back up top to Lowther. Ooh. Fortunate that uh, Phillips didn't jump that. Yes. Oh, man, we got to do better passes. Yes, we do. Spin move by Toller. Toller goes up. Shot no good. Hunt comes out with it. Boggs goes up with it. He's fouled. Oh. That's his that's third. Foul number 21. Yep. 
Jeremiah Babo fouled on the play. And so far tonight, Stevie Boggs has been perfect from the line. Hasn't made one yet. <laughs> I hope you jinxed him. <laughs> Come on, Boggs. We need these, buddy. 49-26. There you go, Stevie Boggs. <laughs> way to go, Mr. Boggs. That's there the way go. to do it. Cutter checks in for Babo. 50-26. Come on, Stevie, bury both of them. Thank there you. you. Know. There we go, Stevie Boggs. 51-26, here come the Falcons quickly. Shot, easy layup to the hey, bucket, Leighton, too easy. Know that play well. Yes, we do. 51-28. Toller, into the front court. Toller dumps it into Boggs. Boggs. Lost his footing and he travels. Slipped. Now as a player, the first thing you do, you turn around and start taking your foot like you're dry on the floor. <laughs> there you go. 51-28. Here come the Falcons. McKenzie into the front court. Looks at dribble and penetrates. Shut down. Cutter. He fouled on the play. Who's got the foul? I believe that's going to be Mr. Hunt. Mr. Hunt. I believe that's Riley's second personal foul. Stops the clock at 5.09 and sends your right cutter to the line to shoot two for the Falcons. He's one for two tonight at the charity strike. Hopefully one for three. Nope, he's two for three. Well, I tried. You tried. Clock stopped at 5.09. And we got a lane violation. Stewart, bucket's good. So they don't call. So they don't call it. 51-30, Falcons slowly creeping their way back into this thing. Well, see, we're, we went away from our offense. Now they're looking for a three. He's off the mark, way off the mark. Rebound, Falcons. That's the kind of stuff that helps them get back into this. Phillips tried to go baseline. Step back, cuts across the court. Lane, the shot is blocked by Boggs. Check out his Cameron Lynch, and he's going to line to shoot two. 23 of you, Stevie Ball. And if you notice, the officials report all the fouls to us. Yeah, I don't know why. Wait, because we have the headgear and the, <laughs> the computers, and we look all official. Free okay. throw's good for Cameron Lynch. We may not know anything, but we look the part. Falcons back within 20, 51 <laughs> 31. Back within 19, they're creeping back in, Gary. We got to find our quarter here. And third quarter always gives us a fit anyway. Yep. Eagles get it into the front court, aggressive press by the Falcons. And we're going to have a timeout by Coach Lunsford. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll be back here. Eagles lead 51-32, back at 60 seconds. Case IH, we believe it's our job to provide you with solutions. That's why our Farmall and Maxim tractors, as well as our tools and attachments, are designed with you in mind. From mowing to baling to loading and more, we're here to help turn your to-dos into to-dones. At Case IH, we'll keep your days running smoothly with equipment that's durable, versatile, and highly efficient. No wonder farmers are more loyal to Case IH than any other brand. Visit your local dealer or go to caseih.com forward slash livestock for more. Listen up, West Virginia, at Midstage Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. We're stocked deeper than ever, and we're selling them cheaper than ever too. With over 100 brand new Chevys on the ground now, we've got the ride you want for the price you want to pay. Unheard of low, low financing rates too. Plus, we stand behind everything we sell. With our exclusive 10-year 150,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. MidStateChevy.com Chevy by New Roads. Before 37 to go off the Eagles timeout. Toller into the backcourt. Here come the Eagles into the front court. Left side to Hunt. Hunt goes up, tries Aww. to get a nizzle. Turnover. There was a carry, but they didn't blow the whistle. Phillips, floater over the top. No good. Rebound, Stewart. And he's going to slow it up. Here come the Eagles. They lead 51 32. We've got to have some offense. That's what I was getting ready to say. We kind of went cold. And Stewart tries to dribble, penetrate, and he's fouled by Leighton. That's going to be late in second foul. All right, so it's going to be Eagle possession. Four team foul for the Falcons. Eagles with two team fouls. Lowther inbounds to Tolbert. 
nearing the halfway point in this third quarter. Stewart, could have had a foul there by <laughs> Leighton. Stewart oh. over to Hunt, almost stolen. Dump pass over, where's the over the back there? But they didn't call it, here we go, Falcon still. And they're coming down, McKenzie, long floater, no good. Rebound, and we got guys on the floor. Controlled by the Falcons, Leighton looks for him, he is fouled on the floor. Be a foul on uh, number 22, Mr. Lowther. Oh, 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 oh. This third quarter's a mess. Yes, it is, and I believe that's Lowther's third, isn't it? Yep. We did not need that. I told you this quarter is on the buys. Yep, always has been. Inbound. Shot lost, and it goes out of bounds. Cameron Lynch, coach. Sider, slider wanting a foul. Didn't get it. We wanted some fouls too, didn't get them. Rutherford gets it up. Here we go, Stewart. We got three on two. Stewart looks to dribble in. Shot up, no good. No foul. Cutter got the rebound. We can't play for the foul. We got to score. Exactly. Floater over the top by Layton is good for the Falcons. Get the ball in the middle to Stewart. Get it into the front court. Here we go. Stewart going to reset 51 34. The lead by your Eagles is slowly fading away. Yeah, we've been outscored 12 to 6 this quarter. Not good. Stewart looks to dribble in. Shot up, and he commits a travel. And it's another Eagle turnover. Not what we needed. Yep, he walked. But really, you I watched on the video, he had two steps. Oh. Actually, he did, according to the video. Well, that's what I was watching. I'd like to relook at that again. <laughs> well, we can't. We're going. All right. Unless I counted wrong. Of course, I looked. Here we go. Falcons with the ball. McKenzie dumps it into Cutter. Left wing. That's Layton. Three is Bang good. shot, wasn't it? Wow. Lynch, three points good. 51-37. Here come the Falcons. Here come the Eagles. Why are we dribbling through our own guy? I have no idea. Stolen by Lynch. Here come the Falcons. Bounce pass to Layton. Shots up and buckets good. 51-39. Eagle lead is fading away. Well, we're playing not to lose instead, instead of, of playing to win. Yep. And we got another Eagle timeout. 17-6. 17-6. It's going to be a 30-second timeout back in 30 seconds. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done, which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. From farm all compact and utility tractors to balers and mowers, Case IH Equipment gives you the efficiency and the versatility you need to get things done. To learn more, visit caseih.com slash livestock. Eagles have been outscored in this quarter. How bad, Gary, Betsy? 17 to six right now this quarter, back. We got to do better now. Frankfurt's on a 13-0 run in the last three minutes. Oh, and we time. have had four turnovers. We haven't scored the last three minutes and 20 seconds. Stewart, off balance three, nobody there but the Falcons for the rebound. Here comes Frankfurt. McKenzie quickly in transition. He finds dump pass is stolen. Nice Knocked hustle. up by Nettles, good job. Good job, Nettles. Got to get some personnel changed around here for nothing else to get some new blood in there, get some excitement. Yes. 204 remains. Three for McKenzie. It's in. You can't do that. You can't leave him alone out there. Well, yeah, we can. We just <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> and we can't dribble through this. Was that a double dribble? Yes. Thankfully missed. Into the front court come the Eagles. <laughs> we had a lead as much as 24. Lead down now to nine. Lowther kicks it to Nettles. It's stolen away by Lynch. Here comes the Falcons. Bucket's good. 51-44. Frankfurt bench on fire. Eagles fans are silent. Stewart, top of the key. Picks up his dribble. 115 and ticking. We've got to get out of this quarter. Toler almost loses it. Kicks it out to Rutherford. Brother back up top to Toler. Left side to Stewart. 
Who wants it more? Who wants to go to Charleston more is the question. Don't pass into Boggs. Boggs goes up. Shot's good, and he's fouled. We needed that, Gary. We've got to find some points in the paint, and that's exactly what we needed good right there by Stevie Boggs. by Stevie Boggs, yes. Fouled by Cutter. That's not foul number three for Cutter. Send Boggs to the line. He can give us back a 10-point lead here if he makes this free throw. 53-44. Clock is at 58 seconds. Free throws up for Boggs. And it rims in and out. Nettles can't get it. Here come the Falcons. Gray across the timeline. 52 seconds of ticking here. Right side to Layton. Back up top to McKenzie. McKenzie scanning, looking, dumps it into Gray. Gray spin move. And we got a jump ball. The and only time he didn't want a jump ball. Yeah. <laughs> Possession in favor of the Falcons. At least it wasn't a foul. That's exactly right. They get the pass in. McKenzie kicks it out. Gray looks to dribble in. Bounce pass out here for a three. Shot is off the mark, no good. Nettles with the rebound, clears it. Toller has 28 seconds to work with. Like to see some points in this final possession. Pretty nice hit one here. Take care of the basketball. Stewart has it in front of the Eagle bench, right wing. Back up top to Nettles, shoot for three. <laughs> <laughs> they know he can't shoot either, huh? Left side to Stewart. Nine seconds of ticking, gotta find a shot here soon. 15-footer for Stewart. Get in there. No good. Oh, rebound controlled by the Falcons. Cutter on his way. Throws it away. And the guy that's going to stop the clock at .5 seconds. We got a break right there. Yes, we did. 53-44. Just get the ball in and hold it. Got nothing crazy. Toller looking for a long shot. Nice, close shot. That was a good try. 53-44. One quarter to go. The quarter for all the marbles coming up next in 60 seconds. That's one minute right here on the Summit 100. How easy is it to purchase your new camper at Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Our knowledgeable staff can show you over 150 new and pre-owned RVs on site. Our team will ensure that all stress is removed from the buying process as you become a part of the Mountaineer RV family. How easy is it to use your new camper for Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? Pick a spot, unwind and start making memories. Come check out your adventure headquarters, Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com slash WV to find out more. Eagles start the possession. Start of the fourth quarter. Gary, got to have a big quarter. This is this one's what matters. And we had our bad quarter. We said we would. That's out of our way now. And we throw it away. We take a timeout. It's going to be it's going to be a full timeout. We'll be back in one minute right here on the Boss 97 FM. I chose Wimble State University because I knew from an early age that I wanted to be an elementary education teacher, and I'd heard that Wimble State University had a great teacher education program, and I even got the opportunity to get recruited for cheer. The professors really give you more one-on-one. -on -one. They get to know you. They get to know your goals where you're from, and not just a hey and bye as you leave and go to class. That's why I chose Limbo State University.
Welcome back. Coming out of the Eagle timeout. Eagles into the front court. Stewart has it. Looks to dribble in. Kicks it out to Lowther. He's looking for a three. That's off the mark. Way right. Tipped out. Controlled by the Falcons. Lowther's went cold in that three-point shot. That was Phillips. tipped, I think. Shot's no good for him. Lowther's rebound. Here come the Eagles. Stewart take it all the way. And the bucket's good for Stewart. We needed that. That was a good transition right there. 55-44. We just need to play now. Yep. Just get after it. Big defense. Let's have some steals of our own, some points. Gray sends it right side to Lynch. And that student body is at an all-time high right now. And we need him. We need that sixth man. Yes, we do. Falcons just working around the perimeter. Left side to McKenzie. Looking for a three. Off the mark. Rebound. No, tipped out. And it's going to be eagle possession. Stops the clock at 6.56. Eagles lead 55-44. Not enough cushion for me, Mr. Rexford. As <laughs> long as we're up one, we still win. That's true, but my nerves can't handle that. Toller into the front court. Right wing to Stewart. Kicks it now to Lowther. Hunt's got it. He looks to dribble in. Shut down by the defense. Back out to Lowther. He looks to dribble. Little fade away. Shot no good. Nobody there to rebound, but the foul was knocked out by Hunt. That shoot another second off the clock. 6.31 stop and Falcons with possession. Rutherford checks in for Lowther. 55-44 Eagle lead. Here come the Falcons. McKenzie quickly across the timeline. Left side to Lynch. Dump pass into Bobo, almost stolen. Lynch looks for a long three. Short, no good, but there's Layton, block! But it goes right into the hands of the Falcons. It's on the floor, Babo has it. He's looking for an outlet. Toller almost had to steal. Cross court now to Layton. Layton looks to dribble in. Shots up and it falls. Nice left hand take. Down on, almost had the five second call. Toller gets it, here we go. Toller looks to go coast to coast and he's fouled on the floor. Who drew that foul, Mr. Richard? Number 11, I believe. That's going to be Phillips. It's like you're seeing the game live. His first. Do what? It's like you're seeing the game live. Oh, it, it, just imagine that. Eagles get the ball in. Don't pass in the hunt. Go up strong, Bubby. He does. Shot's good. Lynch was looking for the offense. He was just too far into the basket. Yep. 57-46. Come on, Eagles. Maintain. You're 538 away from a trip to the big dance. McKenzie looks to dribble off the screen, kicks it out. Dribble into the paint. Kicked back out for a long three. Get out of there. It's out. It's no good. Rebound controlled by the Eagles. Stewart picks up his dribble. He finds Toller. And we're nearing the five-minute mark. Clock's not taking fast enough for you. Is it, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Thank you, Betsy. <laughs> it's two to one here, Gary Rex Road. I sense that. Boggs goes up, eight footer. No good, short. Mm. Tipped out, controlled by the Falcons. Here they go. Lynch behind the back. Toller in his grill. McKenzie looks to dribble in, kicks it across court to Layton. Three is no good. Hunt, no, can't get the rebound. Boggs says it, and he comes out with it for the Nice Eagles. work. Big, Stewart. strong defense. Yes, yeah, or rebound. No call. Yeah, they're letting him play. Stewart looks to dribble in. Six footer, it rims in and good for the Eagles. Nice take here by Stewart. 59-46, come on Eagles. 435 and ticking here in the remaining quarter. Clock is taking forever to get the 0-0-0. <laughs> Drive to the bucket, it's good. Nice bank shot by Phillips. Stewart gets it in to Toller. I don't know how, but he threaded the needle. Toller into the front court. Kicks it back up to Stewart. Let that clock tick, boys. Absolutely. Stewart looks to dribble in and penetrate. Layup, no good. Can't get it to fall. Rebound. Oh, nobody back. Nobody oh. back. Oh, oh. Way. We are Big lucky break. there. Lucky, Lynch. Lucky, lucky. Yes, Lynch had to rebound and he sailed it to the other end of the floor. Big break for the Eagles. Under four to go. Nettles coming back in for the Eagles, 59-48, Eagles lead. 
this has actually been a low turnover game. Um, Frankfurt has six, we have eight. I'm really impressed with the turnovers. We have too many. <laughs> yes. Stewart gets it into Toller. There's a miss foul. Yeah. <laughs> Toller dribbles in. He's going to back it back out. Bounce pass into Rutherford. Shots good. Nice take by Rutherford. How did he squeak his? Uh, I don't know. 61-48. Here come the Falcons. Bounce pass over to McKenzie. He looks to go baseline. Shut down. Bounce pass into Babo. He's tied up. And goes out of bounds. That's good defense back here by Stewart. You had a better angle. I couldn't see. <laughs> McKenzie kicks it back up top to Lynch. Layton has it extended out. Lynch, long three. In and out, no good. Controlled by Toller. Here come the Eagles. 321 a tick and tick, 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 clock. 61 48 lead for your Eagles. Stewart looks to dribble in. Shot up. Rebound. Lynch, don't know why we dribbled in to do that. Dump pass to Layton, back to Lynch, shot up, and it's good. Get the ball into Stewart, three minutes. 11 point lead for the Eagles. Stolen oh, by. Oh man, that was a nice steal. By Layton. That was pretty smooth. He says that was nice. 61-52. I think he's done that before. Eagles have got a pass instead of dribbling it. Into the front court come the Eagles. Toller working against Gray. Looks to dribble in, floater over the top. Wow. Good. We needed it. 63-52, here come the Falcons. 2.30 and Tiggin. Layton, up top, stolen by Rutherford. Good job, Rutherford. Shot up and good for Rutherford. Good hustle there. 65-52, Eagle lead. Nearing the two minute mark. And we're gonna have a Frankfurt timeout. It's gonna be a full timeout. We'll be back here in one minute on 100.3 The Summit. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives. To facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. At Glimple State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimple State University, you can become a pioneer. Your Eagles are two minutes and 16 seconds away from a trip to Charleston. All expenses paid. There you go. Falcons have it. McKenzie into the paint, dump pass. Knocked away. Nice defense. Bolts comes out with it. He's held by the leg. Back oh, behind him. Back. Good hustle. Woo, wow. Stewart has it across the timeline. Under two minutes to go for your Eagles. They lead 65-52. Stewart. Don't pass into nice Bolts. Pass. Bucket. Good. What ball moving. Very impressive. Almost stolen by Rutherford. 67-52. 1.41 to go. Frankfurt. Floater over the top. McKenzie banks it in. 134 and ticking. Run clock room. Run. Uh, we get it into Toller. Toller right up the sideline here into the front court. 120 and ticking. Make him come and get you. Stewart dribbles right past Layton. Dump pass into ball. Shots up. It's good. That's the icing right there. That's, I think, Gary. that's I think nice right there. I think I can breathe now. 69 54. 15 point lead for your Eagles. That dreaded third quarter. We. Oh, we got to travel, and that bucket would have been good for Cameron Lynch. I didn't see it. The right call? Well, I really couldn't tell because he hopped and then right. stepped. I don't know. All right, but well, we're going to have a timeout here, 104. We're going to have 
We're going to have a full timeout. We'll be back in one minute here on 100.3 The Summit. It wouldn't make sense if you turned on something in one room and it turned on everywhere else. But that's exactly how traditional cooling and heating systems work. So you pay more than you should. But Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you a better way with no waste and lower energy bills. Control temperatures precisely in one or every room with no new ductwork. So everyone can enjoy ultimate personal comfort. Mitsubishi Electric, make yourself comfortable. Clear Mountain Bank is now open at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Our team is what makes the difference. Stop by the new branch office and talk to Phyllis, Abby, and Ben, and let us show you the community banking difference. Our full service branch provides extended hours through our video teller service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information, please stop by our new location at the Flatwoods Outlet Center. Sixty-nine to fifty-four here at the Braxton County Army. One minute and four seconds remains. Your Eagles have possession. And we just looked there. You know, one team foul, so they've got to work their way up here. We got a ways to go. Yep. That's a second team foul against Frankfurt, so they still got. They got three to give. Got to move that ball. Got to get that clock running for us. We're at the one minute mark. They're going to foul quick to try and save time. And oh, just yeah. pass the ball. Somebody needs to break back door. Thank you. There goes Rutherford. He's going to try to get a left hand left blocked by Lynch. Here come the Falcons. Dump pass inside to Gray. He shut down. He throws it away. 69, 54. Frankfurt didn't understand here. They can put the ball in the air. Yeah. They don't have time to pass it. Not that I want them to. Exactly. Get the ball into. Toler and he's fouled immediately by McKenzie. 47 seconds away from Charleston. Charleston. Can you believe it? Well, we're excited for these boys. Absolutely. Hey, they've won six out of the last seven. It's getting ready to be seven out of the last eight. There you go. And they're three and zero in tournament play. We'll take that. We will take that. Toler fouled again by McKenzie. That takes the clock down to 45 seconds. Run us through the quarters, how, how we matched up in the quarters to this point. Well, first quarter, of course, we dominated 24-9. Second quarter, we dominated 21-13. The third quarter, they dominated 22-8. In the fourth quarter so far, we have took control of a 16-10 run. So, it's a good job. And that was what we was a little nervous about. Absolutely. And Hunt takes the inbound. He's fouled on the play. And he'll be the man at the line. And he gets the call. He, this is a rough game. He's got a uh, Band-Aid stitch on his cheek. Yeah, he got cut there in the first part of the game. That's why he went out. Was it I did not he, uh, put the ball down, Might put have it been. on the rim, maybe? <laughs> Hit his cheek on the rim, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Get in yeah. there, ball. First free throw is good for Hunt. That takes the Eagles to 70 on the night. Big game for the Eagles tonight. Boy, I'm telling you. And you can see the emotion starting to fall in place for these Frankfurt Falcons. Yep. As... Seniors are coming off the floor, last game of the season. Second shot's good for Hunt. Hey, we've seen it. We've traveled to see it. Yes, we have. It's nice to see the Eagles on the top side of this. 71-54, long three. Off the mark, no good. Controlled by Cutter. Cutter kicks it out, looking for another three. Now they're going to drive in. Floater over the top is good for McKenzie. But it's – and Coach Slider wants a timeout at 28 seconds. And it is going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on 100.3. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on roads that unite us. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care. Here to be the fuel that keeps you firing on all cylinders. <laughs> Welcome back. 28.9 seconds remains in regulation. Your Eagles lead 71 to 56. They have possession. 
Get the ball in, boys. Get the ball in. Bounce pass into Toller. Comes back for it. Working in the backcourt, and he's – nope, they didn't call it. No foul up into the – Rutherford's going to hold the ball, and he is fouled by number 11, Jeremy Phillips. And that's going to be his second personal foul. That's going to send Rutherford to the line. And if this is the last game played in this Braxton County Armory, this has been a, a heck dandy. of a game. Yes. Yeah, it's been one to game. remember. Rutherford misses on the first free throw. Second free throw coming up. He could be the last person that scores in the Armory for the Eagles. Nope. Nope. <laughs> they missed the second. <laughs> Here come the Falcons. Eagles backing up. Lynch right. into the front court. They are just going to walk it across and submit. They kick it to the corner. Well Glad done, Braxton County Eagles. Absolutely. You're Braxton County Eagles. We're waiting for the buzzer. There it is. They're going to Charleston. They get the victory 71 56 here tonight over a very tough, very physical Frankfurt Falcon team. We're going to side, we're going to step aside for a couple minutes, come back, talk stats and a whole lot more. Try and catch up with Coach Lunchford. But again, your Braxton County Eagles, they punched their ticket. They're going to Charleston next week for the state basketball tournament. We'll be back here on 100.3 in two minutes. Every sweat, every sweat drop we've had all year. This is what earns it. This is what you get from it. You hear me? Yeah. Hey, the best part is, is this. We're going next year and the year after, too. That don't matter. Right this now. just starting to roll, boys. <laughs> hey, hey, look at me. Enjoy it, kids. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. to the state tournament in Charleston, West Virginia next weekend, or next week. And uh, pretty exciting. Very good emotional evening. And as the Braxton County Eagles are regional champions, so that's, that's a big move. And you said the last time it was one win? 2022. And then one before that? 2018. And this is like the fifth? Yeah. Right? In school's history? This is the fifth in school's history So since 1969. Congratulations to Braxton County Eagles. And player of the game, I think, would have to almost go to Stevie Boggs. Absolutely. As he yeah. finished the night with 18 points. He is 8 for 10 from the field. Uh, he's 2 from 7 from the free throw line. Left 5 points on the, on the you know, after for not to recoup. He had a 23-point game. But wow. he had 18 tonight. And a very impressive um, game for him. He had seven rebounds. So, um how exciting. Oh, I'm telling you, congratulations to Stevie yeah. Boggs. Named the Mark LaRose Ford player of the game. And you can almost just name the entire entire team player of the game. Yeah, a, it, a yeah it, it was a team effort. You can't, Absolutely. can't put it on one individual. It was a team effort. Very well done by everybody out there. Well, let's shoot down to Betsy, see what kind of stats you have for the wrap-up. Well, I don't have to apologize because we did not shoot 70%, but we did shoot 58%. We were 30 from 52 from the for field goals. We were 58% um, from the threes, which is really amazing as well, seven for 12. Our free throws, we need to work on those because, you know, down in Charleston, those are going to count. We were only 36%, four for 11. Ooh. Turnovers, we had nine, which um, – 
Hey, that's better than uh, probably hey, one of the best your games we have. Keep had. your turn turnovers under double figures. That's yes. what's good. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, but they had 10. We had points off turnovers uh, was uh, 15 points. Uh, rebounds, they out-rebounded us 25-24, but we were hitting shots. So, um, But points in the paint, like Gary said, the first half, we had 38 points in the paint. That's amazing. Yes. So over half. And scored ass inside. Yeah. assists. Which I'm an assist girl. We had 12 assists. Outstanding. That's impressive. Yes, yes. That's very impressive. What and it looks to me it? like Stewart had five of them and Toler had four. What, what was it I heard when I was watching Caitlin Clark break the record? You see a great scorer, you'll see a, see a great assist or two. So. Lots said there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and again, back to the fifth time in school history. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, in itself. What do we got scoring wise across the board? Well, tonight for the Frankfurt Falcons, we're going to finish up. Um, this is impressive too. Lynch and Layton both finished the game with 16 points each. Uh, Cutter with three, Phillips with seven, McKenzie with 11, and Gray with three for a total of 56 points. You know, it, honestly, they finished the first, you know, the first quarter, or actually the first half was the demise of the uh, Frankfurt, right. you know. Yeah. Um, uh, but was able to hold on and stay in control. For Braxton County tonight, we got uh, Riken Rutherford. He finished the game with 12. Hunt with 8. Toler with 9. Stewart with 11. High man tonight was Boggs with 18. Lowther with 11. And Nettles with 2 for a total of 71 points. So and that's very impressive. Absolutely. And hey, we're going to catch up with Coach Lunchford real quick. Coach, congratulations. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Man alive. What do you think? Can you believe it? I mean, I know you can I believe, believe it, it. but uh, – I can believe it. I'll just be honest. I can believe it. Um, we uh, we had we had two really good practices this week. Uh, we like I said, we saw some things that we thought we could exploit. We thought we could take advantage of, and uh, we did. We did. And uh, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt whenever you uh, you shoot pretty decent too. You shot it pretty well. In the first that first half. that first half was unbelievable. Was all listen, I could say. <laughs> listen, and here's the thing. I mean, the, the the good part is this: is we went to the locker room. We even told them. We said, Hey, listen, we're we're, we're not going to be able to keep that shooting up all game. We know this. All right. But the thing is, now they've got to come out and they have to come to us. You know, that's like they tried to go zone there in that first half, and I was like, nah, we ain't going to do that. We're not going to do that. We, we're, we're just we're going to make them play what we want to play. So, um, and that's what we wanted. You know, I told the guys, I said, listen, if we come out and we get in the lead, I said, we're going to make them play our game. And uh, that's what we scouted with all week. We watched them in the zone. We, I mean, we, we did some stuff for a zone, but we watched them play man, and, and uh, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to attack certain things. And, man, I'm telling you, I'm – Tickled plum to death with them. Yeah. <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah, yeah, yeah really, no <laughs> doubt. Uh -huh. What a game. I mean, and what, of course, rumor has it this could be possibly the last game played in the Armory, and what a way to go out. Yeah. But I told him, I said, I won the first ever game I ever coached here, and I said, I sure as heck won't win the last one. So we did it. There you we go. We did it against, the, the, against South Harrison. We was worried that that might be our last one, and then this one, there's nothing yeah. sweeter. There's well, nothing sweeter. Yep. Jamie and I talked about your tournament play has just been above, and, that, and they've done a super job all tournament play. So congratulations on that. We have uh, we bought in. We've really bought in. You know these kids. They've uh, I can't say enough about them. Uh, we we had a. I was telling earlier in the, in the interview pregame. You know we hit, we had a spot in the season, and and I think that you know you, you got to understand that since since we lost to Webster, we went to Webster and lost. We are seven and one. We're seven and one since. And uh, I think the turning point of the season was we went over and ended up at Ward County, came back from 18 down and won the game. And uh, it's just like something clicked, something turned on with them. They seen, you know what, hey, this game isn't as hard as we've made it out to be all year. And, um, man, you talk about senior leadership. is When we've needed it the most, they have stepped up and really done it. I can't say nothing about the, about Landon and Riley. I really can't. Um, they've, um, you know, I, I come in the locker room a minute ago uh, at halftime. I come in there and, and Landon's got them all. He's talking to all of them. He said, hey, listen, this is what we've got to do. We've got to keep this up. And, and I was like, hey, don't let me interrupt. You're doing a great job, you know. Let's <laughs> yeah. keep it up. And that just makes life of a coach a lot easier when you got that leadership. From oh, the you floor, ain't kidding. And, you know? and, and, and you know, I mean, when you look at all the young guys that surround them, um, you take that kind of leadership on the floor, and it it, it does. It completely oh, yeah. it, it makes my job so much easier. It's unbelievable. Very much so. <laughs> well, fifth time in school history for regional championship. Yeah. Uh, Going to be putting stickers up on that sign. Absolutely. And you've got three of the five up there. Yes, sir. Uh, I, as I watched everybody storm the court, I was reminiscing of 2018. <laughs> yeah. Special one for me. Yes, sir. Uh, me too. Just, that was my first one. Yeah. There, there you go. That was go. my first one. That was that's that's a big time. Uh, just super exciting. These guys, you're three and zero in tournament play, and playing the best basketball. And this is this season 
is a testament to what Gary and I and, and you've talked about. Regular season games are they're practice games. We've said it all year. I mean, you know, we who would have thought when we're sitting at 0 and 8? We're sitting at 0 and 8. One of the worst teams in the state, rank wise. They had us. I think we had one time we was uh, the, the second or third from the last in the power index. Yeah. <laughs> At 0 and 8, and now we're on our way to Charleston to represent our region. There you go. Does anybody know how anything happened? Anybody heard anything from uh, the Trinity Moorfield? We have not have heard not any heard updates. We've been okay. trying to pay We haven't heard anything. Yeah. Yeah. So. I've been kind of paying attention to this one, too. Yeah. Really yeah. Listen, <laughs> this I, is I our did, focus. This, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't, I didn't give a flip because <laughs> Absolutely. we're going to Charleston on this one. This Man alive. Matter, so. What a great day. What a great game. So, but yep. Now, what day do you play down there next week? Do we have so, if it's the same as the girls, we'll play Thursday at the 530 game. Okay. Okay. That's what we was anticipating, but we wasn't yep. sure. Yeah, if it's so. the same, I th I'm pretty sure it is. I think they okay. set them up the same way. So I think we'll play a 5:30 game, and I'm going to just go out on a limb and say we're probably going to be the eight seed. <laughs> so uh, you know, it's time to prepare. Now we now we've got to now we've got to figure out how to beat the number one team in the state, number one ranked team in the well, state. They're, so. they're but don't let them underestimate you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey, listen. We, the thing is this: is like we said after to Trinity, like we said after this game, is every game that we play up to this point is a blessing. It's another blessing. It's something yeah. else for these guys to remember. It's something else. That was our goal at the beginning of the season. It's for us to go to Charleston and end our season there. And right. we're going to. Okay. We're going to go there. Trinity yep. won. Trinity won. Trinity Outstanding. Won. So there you go. Everybody on our side, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was hoping yep. for. I yep. mean, that's what me and Cody talked about. And uh, um, I, 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 I know that, that Moorfield's got a, got a great basketball team. You know, I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm really glad to see that, that, you know, Cody's able to pull one out. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it's. It's nice. It's nice to be able to go down and, and represent us. And I'd say they'll be the seventh seed. <laughs> so, <laughs> there it'll be go. all right. The bottom line is there's, what, 36, The bottom is teams? we're one of the eight left. That's, that's exactly right. There's 36 that's teams it. that'd love to be number eight, You're love exactly to be number right. seven. Yeah, we got it. So, well, Coach, hey, congratulations. Yeah. Go, yeah. go celebrate. Yeah, go celebrate. Go, that's go, great. Let's go find us another net. Go, go there, there you go. Congratulations. Yep. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. That was the head coach of the regional champion, Braxton County Eagles. And uh, what a night to be an Eagles fan. Very much so. And you're excited for these boys, these young men, you know, and we want to do want to wish um, Frankfurt a safe trip home. Absolutely. You know, good team, um, good bunch of guys, and we just uh, wish. All right, Brady, you guys are going to the States. How do you feel right now? Oh, my. Starting off 0-8, this is crazy. You know, we had a really good first quarter. Kind of, we kind of dropped off middle of the second. Definitely the third. We play a really good fourth quarter. All right, I know you're a freshman. You're playing point guard. You're taking the point. What's been your mentality all year, knowing that you're younger, you're smaller? I don't really know. It, it all just kind of came to me. I just got to have that killer mindset. All right, now you guys faced some adversity there in the third quarter. I mean, you guys were outscored, I think, 22 to 8. Yeah. What, what was said between quarters towards the end of the third quarter made you guys flip the switch and take back over in that fourth quarter? Josh just kept telling us, stay, stay locked in, don't drop off, and we did. What are your expectations going into Charleston? Oh, we're winning. We're winning. All right, thank you. I'd love to hear that. <laughs> I want to thank Dan, Al, Lisa, and especially Marty and Anna, and Anna back at the station for uh, all their hard work this season. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of surreal. It's over for us. <laughs> yeah, it really is. So, uh, folks, thanks for tuning in. Thank you to all of our sponsors that. Uh
All right, Jaden, I talked to you pregame. Your brother's going to States. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I, I'm happy for these guys. Uh, you know, every single person on this team earned it. They had a rough start to the year. Everybody was doubting. I mean, heck, probably themselves doubting themselves. They battled back and started playing their best basketball here late. You know, kudos to these guys for, for sticking with it. It, it was easy. They could have they could have been easy to just give up. They stuck with it. They started playing good basketball. I'm happy for these guys. They played a heck of a game. All right, you had that student section rocking all game. Are you planning on taking that to Charleston? Oh, we're taking it to Charleston. Um, it's funny because, oh, hey, man, that's three. That's three for Josh. So uh, Drew Taylor, buddy of mine, um, teacher at the high school, he, uh, he got the student section rocking for us back in the day. So I told my brother, I said, listen, I'm going to come here. I'm going to try to get these kids hyped show them what a real student section's like. And we're definitely taking it to Charleston. I hope that uh, you know the school system can get some buses together, kids, and we'll have a good time. All right, looks like we're getting ready to start good the uh, net cutting. All right, Drew, I understand that you had a big uh, big part in helping putting that student section together and rocking it all night. Just what went on and what were you doing to keep the students popping? Well, um, Jamie, I, I think you remember the state's run back in 2018. These kids in big games, they feed off excitement. And I was asked by a few of the kids, help bring us up. And so that's all we did is just cheer the whole game, cheer them on. Every big shot we cheered, every bad play for Frankfurt we cheered. And that's all these boys need. They just need support. This is a talented young group of ball players, and if we keep supporting them, that we're going to build this team and build this culture. It's just all about support, man. All right now, I know you're a teacher and you've coached some of these boys in other sports. How are you feeling right now? How's it like? Are you proud? How, how proud are you? How can you explain that for me? Oh, I'm so proud. I see these guys every morning in the hallways. I, I have AEP in the library, and I see them all, and they pass me and ask them about the games every day. And some of them are my football players, and it's just I, I, I'm just so proud of them, man. I, I'm so proud of our school. I'm so proud of the team. I'm so proud of Coach Lunsford and his staff. It's just good for our community all around. All right, well, thank you for your time. Thank you, Jamie. All right, we're going to stay live right here. We're standing next to Landon Stewart and Riley Hunt. Boys, what's going through your minds right now? Uh, I just want to thank God for letting us come out here and play, man. It's Everyone doubted us starting out 0-8 and, and then to come and win not only the sectional but the regional championship too. It just it means so much to all of us. We started out the season 0-8. We already came back. The whole team started playing together and working hard in practice, and we made it here now. All right, now I asked, I asked Brady this earlier. That third quarter, it, it wasn't your guys' quarter. You guys were dealing with the adversity. What was said? What went through your minds going into that fourth quarter? I think the difference between us now and those first eight games is we just learned how to weather the storm because basketball is a game of runs. They're going to get theirs. We're going to get ours. We just got to limit theirs and get more. All right. What do you say? Now, this is the last question for you guys. What are you guys' expectations going into Charleston? You got it. We're going to come in, same mentality we have with the past few games we've been winning, and we're just going to win it. <laughs> Dubs only. All right, Riley, one more question for you specifically. I see you got cut up. Can you tell us kind of what happened and uh, how you dealt with it? Um, I ran into the back of my teammate. <laughs> and then that was that. All right, well, thank you. Continue your celebration. All right, thank you.
I'm here with a. I'm here with another player, Louther, right? Yeah. Louther. Now you were shooting lights out in that first half. Yeah. Were you Were you confident? Just every time you touched that ball and shot it, it was going in. Yeah, I just I knew that I knew that we really needed to score. I knew we needed to do like heavy damage in the first quarter to shut them down to really mess with it, get in their heads to just shut them down for the rest of the game, and it worked. Now you guys had a slow third quarter. The balls weren't going through the net. What What's your mentality there? Do you have a keep shooting it mentality or? We were just, we got in the mindset that we didn't need to score anymore. We just needed to slow down so the game would pass through with us in the lead, and that kind of led us to turning the ball over too much. But then we kind of got out of it. We, we decided to score again, and that helped us a lot. All right, last question for you. You're going to Charleston. What's your expectations? I really don't know. I've only ever been, I've only ever been once. I, I was in third grade, and I went and watched some of the older players play there, so I don't really know. I don't really remember the atmosphere much, but I'm guessing it's going to be loud. All right, thank you. You can get back to your celebration. Yep, yep. Gonna wrap it up. They play Bluefield, you know, the day. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. They're going to continue cutting down the net, and it's, it is an exciting day for all Braxton County and Eagles fans all throughout. Thank you again for tuning into uh, Braxton Live and watching this game and watching our boys. Next Thursday, they're going to travel down to Charleston, start their tournament run, and they're going to play Bluefield. So if you can, try to make it down to Charleston, root on our boys, and that's going to be it for Braxton Live and the basketball season. Again.